Drop a like in the next five seconds and school will be canceled this year. If you don't, you'll end up having Saturday school. The new Fortnite Season 8 Chapter 2 update is out, guys. And honestly, this might be the biggest update we've got in terms of free items in a long time. So I'll be showing you guys how you can get a bunch of free items, including free skins, as well as some of the cool stuff from the update that you may not have seen. So make sure to stick around to the end because you won't want to miss any of these free items. Items. Also guys, I'm still gifting my subscribers every single day. All you have to do is drop a like, subscribe with all notifications, and leave a comment with your epic ID. There's a lot of awesome skins coming out in the shop very soon. So do not miss out on your opportunity. I see a lot of people leaving comments without their epic ID. So make sure you're adding your epic ID in there. And if you guys like my videos and you just want to support me, especially with all the new stuff coming out, if you could take two seconds to put Doom in your Fortnite item shop next time you log on i would appreciate it a ton okay for number one we have the easiest possible free items you could get and you should get these right when you log on to the game so the best styles you'll see are the gold skull trooper and the gold skull ranger so that is super awesome that they're giving these for free as a style and not just a brand new skin and don't worry if you do not have these skins already i'm pretty sure if you buy them when they're in the item shop next you'll be able to get these styles too and there were a couple skins i don't have that came out with new styles including the sanctum skin there's a crimson version of that and it also came with a crimson version of his back bling and pickaxe so that looks pretty cool i might have to buy that when that comes to the shop and then also a big mouth came out with a new poisonous style for both the skin and his back bling as well as his pickaxes so if you have those two skins you can expect those as well and then finally a new free style that you may not have seen because it doesn't pop up when you launch your game is the new style for the f NCS back bling number one and there is a purple gold style for that too now so if you guys already have this back bling you should have this style even if it didn't pop up and if you don't have this back bling you basically get this by watching FNCS which I'm sure you'll be able to do later this season as well okay and for update number two there were a ton of new weapons added to the game files however I don't believe any of them are usable in game right now the first two major ones for battle royale are the combat combat SMG and the combat assault rifle and you guys can actually vote for which one you want to be in the game right now so if you have any spare gold make sure you go do that I think personally I'm going to vote for the SMG but neither one of them look too special to be honest so I don't really care which one wins and they've also added a ton of new creative weapons in the game like a sledgehammer a fireman axe and different types of swords which aren't even available to use in creative as far as I can tell so I'm not really sure what they're planning for that and then finally of course we can expect to use shadow midas's drum gun when he appears as a boss in the game for fort nightmares 2 so that's pretty exciting as well now for change number three they've actually added a feature called smart builds where as you guys can see from the icons here it looks like you only need to press a one button to build these types of structures so there's like a mini tower a typical box that you would build and then finally a bridge so that that is pretty interesting. I do not believe they're in game yet, so I don't know what they could be used for. It could just be for an LTM, but I really hope it's a part of Battle Royale as well, because I think that would change things up a lot. And it would be cool just to see how it affected the game. And next up for update number four, we actually have a leak that says there is going to be an NPC that drives a vehicle around the map. And we know that they've been updating the mech in the game files, so it is possibility this is like some sort of variation of the mech or something like that and i imagine we'll see this in the big fort nightmares update in a week or so so i cannot wait to see that and then for update number five we have a small one but epic is planning to add a few new consumables into the game the best one is called the big fruit and hypex says it will act as a med kit so that will be super op and would be a fruit actually worth carrying around and then other leakers have found a sausage consumable as well as a pretzel consumable so i'm assuming these give health but hey, they could have some sort of other effect too. Okay, and for number six, we have confirmation that Fort Nightmares will have free rewards for us once again. So we could have expected that, but it is 100% confirmed now. And it is also confirmed that Horde Rush will be returning as a game mode and we will get some free rewards for that too. So we pretty much just got to wait for Fort Nightmares to come out, which like I said, will be in a week or two. And for number seven, we have a small little update, but it is kind of interesting because the water level at the 
grotto is slowly lowering and i'm really hoping this is teasing something that's going to happen during fort nightmares and it's not like this super long lasting thing that lasts till the end of the season and then nothing happens so let's hope this is actually teasing something for fort nightmares and we get like a shadow brutus or something because that would be pretty cool and for update number eight this is actually a pretty cool update they have updated the way refund tokens work so basically now you can actually get more refund tokens and the way to do it is basically you have to wait 365 days from your last refund to earn a new one which is a pretty long time like i'm glad they're giving people new refund tokens but that seems like a long time and personally i don't remember the last time i refunded something so i'm not sure if i got that extra refund token or we have to wait 365 days after this update is out and if that's the case that kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie so you guys will have to check for yourself and see if you were given another refund token or not and moving on to number nine we are actually going to be able to unlock two really awesome free skins the costumed corporal as well as the masked mercenary and these skins are super cool there's so many different customizations you can make to the skin and it might be one of the best free skins we've ever received and to get this skin you're gonna have to stream using stream elements as you guys see here you have to go to streamelements.com and then on the left side of the menu you'll see a tab that says revenue and then you'll click that and then click the partnerships button and you guys will see right now it's not quite available yet because the update literally just came out but if it works the same as the last skin we were able to earn you're gonna have to stream eight hours or produce three videos of high quality Fortnite content within any given 30 day period it says so once I'm able to apply for the program or whatever it may do a more in-depth video but I know once you've completed it they give you a code that you can redeem for these skins and honestly I might just give my code away because I know these skins will be coming to the item shop as well and you will be able to buy them so I would just give my code away and then buy it myself but either way I definitely think it's worth trying because it is a really cool skin. okay and right before I finish the video Hypex actually found some of the Fortnite mares rewards we can expect to unlock when those come out so first we have the cube cruiser which is a glider obviously and then next up we have the baddie wrap the wrathful breakout contrail and then the all-weather extractor pickaxe which actually has another style too and then people are also saying that the final reward will be shadow midas and his skin is actually reactive so basically the more kills you get he'll turn more and more into a shadow oh yeah and there's also this back bling called thinking juice which should be a reward as well so that's gonna do it for the video guys we have a lot of free stuff to look forward to i'm showing you guys all the other leak skins in the game as well but if you guys want to do me a huge favor and use code doom in the item shop next time you log on just take a couple seconds and throw it in there i would appreciate it a ton thank you guys for all the likes and new subs and i will see you guys in the next one peace out